In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can enter in our budget information into focus budgeting and forecasting. As you can see here, I've got a budget for the year of 2020 based on the actuals from 2019. Let's edit some operating expenses for the Australian part of the business. So if I open up operating expenses, I open up Australia, you can see the accounts that I've got assigned to myself there. I might need to adjust my consultancy fees and say we're going to do $15,000 per month in consultancy fees. Now, that's every single month, so I might just grab that and drag it across. So, very familiar in how you can copy data across the cells um, there. You might also then say, well, bank charges, I know that I'm going to do about $18,000 a month in bank charges. So, you enter in 18,000. This time what we'll do is we'll just right click and just go copy forward. And you can see we've pushed that $18,000 across the month there. Next for cleaning, I might say those cleaning expenses have gone down a little bit. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in and say it's only $150,000 and I want it to automatically calculate what that spread is across the year. So if I click on my little spread button, I'll put in 150 and then I'll say I just want it to be spread evenly and just click apply. And there's our 150 spread evenly across the year. You saw there were some other options available to us in that pop-up window for spread. That was based on actual information of the previous year that we were going to use to build the variation in our budget month on month um, if we change our total amount. So what I mean by that is, if I click on this little comparison option, you'll now see it puts in the actuals from the prior year as an option underneath. Then when I click on that spread button, I'm now going to say, I want my public liability insurance to be 200000 for the year and I want to spread it based on the actuals there. So what the actuals were last year, the variation up and down per month, that's what I want to base my budget on over the year. So I click apply and you'll now see I get a variation of the budget because we added that additional line in there of my comparison in this case. Let's remove that comparison now. And let's look at our professional indemnity insurance in this case. I know that my professional indemnity insurance is going to go up 10% this year. So I want to go in, add in that comparison, click on my spread button again. And this time, I'm going to select actuals from the bottom and I'm going to add on 10%. So now when I click apply, you'll see it's added 10% onto my budget from my actuals of the previous year. So you can see it's a really simple process to start adding in the budget, very familiar workflow in terms of copying cells, etc. But then also some very simple shortcuts to help you enter in those budgets quickly and easily based on previous year's actuals, based on uplifts in expenses as a percentage, etc. So thanks very much for watching.